like a boss. Welcome to Speak Out. My name is Ken Sander, and tonight's issue is should New Yorkers carry handguns or should they be allowed to have handguns? And it's basically a guy in public access trying to talk about gun control, and it's such a low budget that, you know, it's not pre, it's, it's basically live, and he puts his phone number up there. So somebody calls in, realizes is it, you know, realizes that it's live and tells him to go fuck himself, and then the entire audience, like a bunch of goddamn children, call in and all they're saying is just the dirtiest shit that they can basically think of. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, Ken. Yes. I think it's good that people can have handguns so we can shoot people like you. Right. Back. Fuck you. Hi, you're on the air. How you doing? How are you? All right. What do you think? Should we carry handguns Definitely. or what? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Shoot What's... people like you. All right. Sounds good. Hi, you're on the uh, air. Hi, I called a call before uh, with a very valid point. I think it was one of your first calls. Yeah. Fuck you, you cockbucker. Hi, you're on the air. Hello, Ken. Yes. I was wondering how you would think that it would be possible to regulate the sale of these guns. And want to know if you suck dick. All right. Well, in answer to your second question, no. And I'm not sure how we would regulate the sales. <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. Fuck you, cockhead. Oh. Hello? Hello. Good evening. Hello? Hello, how you doing? Good evening. Mm -hmm. And now the best guys are the ones who actually start talking about gun control for a minute. So this guy actually feels like he's having a, a discussion. <laughs> and right as the guy starts to engage with them, they tell him to go fuck himself. So, Hi, you're on the air. Um, I think you need a federal law first if, if you want to have a, a, a law in New York City against guns. Um, right now there's this big debate in, in the nation whether or not we should be the hell out of the privilege to have guns uh, as citizens or we should not. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the NRA has for the last, I don't know, century been fighting for uh, right. the privilege of citizens to carry guns. Fuck you, cockfucker. Hmm. Hi, you're on the air. Hi. How you doing? Okay, how are you? I want to suck your dick. Hi, you're on the air. Um, I don't think the city was willing to pay for something like that. You know, it's probably added, not. It's an it's, added expense. Um, well, it's a good idea, but you're probably yeah, it's right. a good concept. But what's the chance that Mayor Dinkins, who can't even clean up the city, I fucked your mother up the ass? I mean, someone's walking around with you. He's gonna look at you get mother, and you pull out a piece. I mean, you know, you're treating the man's life. That's true. I think you're only creating, you know, a worse situation, and you start big dicks. See, that's the case. <laughs> uh, hi, you're on the air. Hi, Ken. Yeah, how you doing? Fuck you! Hi, you're on the air. Hello, Ken. Yes. I was thinking that if the criminals, you know, you're trying to give guns to the people to fight the criminals, wouldn't that make it just as easy for the criminals themselves to get guns? Because if you're opening this market up for the just plain citizens, that mm -hmm. the, the average citizen is not going around looking for a gun. It's the average criminal that's going around trying to find any that's weapon he good possibly point. can. So that would just make it twice as easy. That's a very valid point, you know, uh, a lot, of, and that's what the, one of the big arguments that the police have is, is that a lot of the illegal guns get into the system by burglaries, like uh, most people keep uh, their gun near their bed, most likely, and so a criminal come in, rob your house, rob your You're an angry prick like me, it's, a, it's actually a, uh, it's a nice one. So, with that, um... I want to thank everybody from calling us, uh, except for those of you that interrupted the show with your rudeness. Yeah. What's up there, squeaky balls? My boys told me to give you a call. Who's this? Who the fuck you think it is? This is Frank Rizzo. Now let's get down to some business before I have to come down here and split a few heads. Do I know you? Sure you know me, chief. We go way back. We used to shoo each other up the ass in the old days. Don't you remember, Ernie? We were good like that. I knew you in the old days? Were you with one of the families? Ah, I never went with that family shit, silly ass. You know what I mean? I was the best. I could whack out a hundred guys in a week. I ran circles around you. Well, I don't remember you. Did you go under some other name? That's right, Chief. They call me Rubberneck. What the hell does that mean? Eh, I always had a bit of a problem with my temper. People tell me it's a problem because it's always flaring like a pack of hemorrhoids. You know, sometimes it gets on my nerves. I go crazy kicking guys around, busting heads. You know, I always wind up choking a few people. I'm sick. You know what I mean, Ernie? You fruity-ass bastard. You want to take it easy with the name calling, particularly since you got a couple of boys on my turf with no protection. Whoa, whoa. Hey there, tough guy. You know, what are you doing? Let's not get out of hand now. 
I was just calling to say how much I appreciate the hospitality you showed my boys the other night. You know, they got nothing but good things to say about that happy-ass lackey of yours, Tony Zamboni.